Clinabel recently released their results for the CUV-151 and CUV-156 studies. And today, I'm joined by Dr. Jessica Nucci, who's the Clinical Project Manager at Clinabel for the DNA Repair Program. And we're here to talk about the program in a bit more detail and its relevance. So welcome. Thank you. So what is the process of DNA damage and how can it be repaired? When UV is absorbed by our DNA, two uh, bases that are opposite, the link between these two bases can be broken due to this uh, absorption of energy. And other abnormal bonds can form. And this new molecule that is formed with this bond is what we call a CPD. Now, what is the issue with that? It's that CPDs, they distort the helix of the DNA, which then can impair two essential functions, which are replication and transcription. This can create mutations in our DNA, and so this can lead to cancer development. However, our cells have some mechanisms that um, enable our cells to repair this damage. Considering that we have those repair pathways, why do XP patients have an increased risk of cancer? XP patients, they, they have a reduced activity of XPC protein or no activity at all, which means their body cannot fully recognize the damage and they can't really uh, process the repair. Since XP patients have this increased risk of cancer, how can melanocortins help these patients? So melanocortins can help uh, XP patients uh, by acting on three different mechanisms. So first, by increasing eumelanin density, which will be able to, uh, to give some photoprotection to the patients. Then by reducing the oxidative stress and by reducing the CPDs. And so in our 3156 study, what we've seen was a reduction in CPDs after a melanotype treatment and an increase in the eumelan intensity. So we are very excited by this uh, first results. So what are the next steps moving forward? So the next steps are first to uh, finish our three ongoing studies in the DNA repair program. Uh, then we have to discuss these results with experts and regulatory authorities. And then we need to expand the program in 2023. Great. Well, thank you for taking the time to talk through the DNA Repair Programme and hopefully we'll speak to you again soon. Thank you very much.